Topping your news first tonight, on day two of the rape trial of former police officer Paul Santos, a couple of inconsistencies were found in evidence that was presented. PNC's Donna de Jesus has more details. In the continued jury trial of former Guam police officer Paul John Santos, the two Federal Bureau of Investigation agents involved in the color of law investigation after Santos allegedly raped a woman at the former Hotel Ipau in 2014 gave their testimony about the case. FBI agent Jason Dodd explained that the color of law criminal investigation is opened when a government official exceeds authority to violate the civil rights of another person or to receive unlawful benefits. After Santos allegedly raped the victim, her father made the call to the FBI on September 1, 2014, claiming his daughter had been raped by a cop. It was because of that claim that the FBI got involved. As part of their investigation, Dodd and another FBI agent, Jennifer Joyner, went to the Hotel Ipal in Tumon Heights to interview the victim. As part of a sting operation, Agent Joyner later instructed the alleged victim to send text messages to Santos. Joyner told the jury today that she took notes of the exchange. However, under cross-examination, defense attorney Randy Cunliffe came across a discrepancy in Agent Joyner's report. Cunliffe pointed out that telecommunications provider ITNE had submitted a record of all the incoming and outgoing text messages from the victim's phone, and there were at least two responses from Santos, but were not a part of ITNE's records. Those ghost text messages stated, quote, nothing to worry about with me, and my bad, just wanted to stop by. Your videos are awesome. When asked about these inconsistencies, Joyner later explained that she was not present when the victim sent the FBI-instructed text messages. This inconsistency could now be the reason for the FBI agent's extended stay on Guam, as Judge Vern Perez requested Joyner to stay for at least another 48 hours to continue to provide testimony in the trial. Meanwhile, the alleged victim in the case is expected to arrive on Guam to testify against the cop she accused of raping her. Santos's trial will resume tomorrow morning. Reporting for PNC, I'm Donna de Jesus.